one. You know, the challenge of the environment brings together people and countries and cultures, and I think in the last few days, Gabriel Caplet and I have traveled here from northern Michigan on behalf of a number of organizations and the tribal community of the Keweenaw Bay Indian uh, uh, tribe, and, and we're here to, we've, we've come to bring a voice to the annual meeting of Rio Tinto, dealing with their projected mine, Kennecott, uh, on the uh, Seven Trout River, Powell Township. I think uh, one, of the, one of the gifts that I'm, I'm returning with is uh, the sense of the power of uh, the truth that is spoken, these competing realities that are, are part of our cultural dialogue. But the folks that we have been with organizers, activists, uh, faith-based leaders, as they have uh, approached and engaged uh, one of the wealthiest companies in the world, the mining companies in the world, it's been an astounding experience uh, seeing the power of, of a single voice in, in the midst of, of that secular setting and the power of the, of, of the truth when it can be spoken. So uh, it's, it's been a delight, and uh, the city is filled with color and ethnic backgrounds and different languages, and of course, rain and fog. And uh, we're, we're here in the center of the financial kind of capital of the world, and, and truly what the biblical reverence would call uh, the, the, the kingdom of the world. Caesar's world and, and we're bringing another kind of word about justice and about ecological sustainability and and hope for a new uh, a, a new world vision so uh, thanks for the chance to share this, this these reflections